be my first I'm Tafera Nava and welcome back to my channel Nava Visionary Studio. Today's video is going to be my first official art supply haul for my YouTube channel and I guess it would be like more of a summer art supply haul, pre-summer because there are two more things I do want to get. But yeah, so I decided it would be great because I got a good mixture of different type of supplies, <clears throat> um, some things that I've never used before that I want to experiment with, and then um, a lot of repurchases that I've been loving since I've started back painting, which now has been almost a year, it'd be a year in August, um, which is next month. So yeah, I was like, you know what, why not make a haul out of it? I've bought a few things before and I wasn't doing my art channel at the time or I was but I was just like uploading snippets and I didn't know if I wanted to take this channel seriously enough to like sit down talk do paint with me's and all of that but you know quarantine happened so it was like you know what I had a time why not so I'm gonna keep that energy going and I decided let me do an art supply haul so yeah if you want to know what type of supplies I have been using so far back into my journey of art. Stay tuned and watch this video. So before I officially get started, you're going to hear some paper rattling. I do have some of my smaller supplies here right in front of me, so I'm going to be reaching here. And then I have all of like my bigger stuff, as you can see, like my canvases that I've repurchased here. I'll be grabbing over there for those. And just to give you a heads up, I'm filming right in front of my window, which I always film in. And I'm using mainly natural light. So you might, may or may not see some in and out of shadowing or lighting. So I just want to go ahead and apologize that up front. Let's get into it. Alright, so I decided let's do the paint first. And let me start with something that I haven't tried. And I feel like I wanted to purchase this because... There's a look, a vibe, a style that I want to go for that I see my art now that I'm like almost 11, well I am 11 months in now. So um, after looking at certain type of art that kind of gives me the somewhat vibe that I want, I realized what type of medium it was. So I was like, you know what, let me try it and see. And that is flow medium, particularly acrylic flow medium. So I purchased this. This is Golden's High Flow Acrylic Ink, um, and this is a 12 pack. Yeah, so I got this from Amazon, um, but Michaels had their, I think it's semi or every season sale, which is like they go up to about 70% off on things, and I wanted to get this, but they were all out of it, and just so happened that um, Amazon had this and it was already cheaper than the one they had at Michael's. So I was like, let me get it. So I still got what I wanted. I just purchased it from Amazon. So I can't wait to try to use this. I've been watching videos on Amazon and some other things just to see how to how people use this in different ways. Um, I'm going to use it on my canvases first. And then I plan on using it on a piece of wood that is part of my haul that I will show you later so I'm excited um, I just want something kind of transparent fluid like and I definitely have been playing around with my paints to give me that effect but I wanted to go ahead and try to actually purchase a medium that was kind of already in that consistency and the use for it so yeah happy about this all right next is metallic paint this is Mont Marti or Marte I don't know how you pronounce that this is their intro set eight piece metallic art for those who've seen my art so far here it is here um, you may know that I am one of those artists that actually use metallic paint 
for some people they don't like it I've liked playing around with it I like using it to give it certain vibes I don't know if you can really tell probably from this but like my bird there has like metallic art um, vibe in it from the paint and yeah I like it to give it kind of I don't know when I want something to look like jewelry or iridescent or sparkly um, I like the metallic paint to give it kind of that vibe I'd rather use metallic paint than like a high gloss paint to give it that vibe but that's for now I'm still experimenting I'm still trying to find my vibe my style my process and this is a repurchase so got this from Amazon I like it so far all right keep in with the paints I have this bag here it's from Michaels <laughs> and they had 50% off their artist loft and another brand I can't think and so artist loft is kind of considered I think a beginner's grade acrylic paint and I used it and this is where I repurchased to get back into it because I don't want to use expensive paint trying to develop my style and get back into um, painting again so the colors that I use the most I definitely repurchased those and I have a total of I think six or seven three four Five, six, seven, yeah. Seven tubes of the Artist Loft paint here. Um, original price, I think they're like $4.99 and I got them for $3. I think it was $3. So $2 off, which is good. And the Yellow Ochre Deep is a color I use quite a bit. Quite a bit, quite a bit. I have the gray. I use a lot of gray in my color schemes. Black, can never go wrong with black. Um, I have Rose Portrait. I've always wanted to try the Rose Portrait, but every time I would go, they would be out of it. Even when I looked online, they would be out of it. And they only had one left and I grabbed it. So I want to play with that and see if I like that color into my vibe so far. I bought my Naples Yellow. I use a whole lot of that as well. I also got something new, which is their Old Gold. So I wanted to try this. This is new. And another repurchase is the Unbleached Titanium. Yeah, so I'm very happy about that purchase. And I think I got all of this paint for like $21, which is, you can't beat that. So, very happy about that. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to go on to a few brushes that I got. I got sets, actually. So... The first one is the Monterey, same as the Metallic Paint brand. It is a six brush gallery set series for acrylic paints. I am, I've already tried one of them, so one of them is missing, but this is the paint brushes here. And um, the Monte Mate, I guess is how you pronounce it. I got this brand from Amazon, so. Um, this brand is something I purchased from Amazon. I purchased another set of this brand of brushes and I liked it. I liked the smoothness of the brush, the firmness of it, the flexibility of it. So I wanted to get some more brushes. So this is not a repurchase, but it's a repurchase of the brand of brushes. So I'm excited to see um, how these are exactly. So yeah, got some more brushes. Always use some more brushes. And then... I also got Simply Simmons brush here, and these are mop brushes. Let's see right here. Yes, so this is an assortment brush. It is a three pack. I've already used one of them already. If you can see that there, um, I use this mainly, I guess, for blending. It's what most people use these for. They are handmade artist brushes. I like this. It's the I will get. I don't want to say artist, artist grade, but um, it's Simmons. It's his brushes, and it's just a little bit more affordable than his higher end brushes. Um, this is overwash hand. This is a three fourths and a one half, and I really, really love this brushes. I want to get more. Uh, from that and I've actually purchased this. This is an Amazon purchase as well. So Excited to do that because I want to 
do more um, detailed like backgrounds and things like that. Kind of like what I did with here with this painting here in the background. I didn't have a lot of these, but I kind of made it work. But I was like, you know what? Let me get some mop brushes and see if I can get that better. So those are my brushes. And another product for my painting is this Fixable Workable Spray by Craylon or Crylon, depending on how you pronounce it. Um, this is a must have. This is a must have always, never can be without um, supply for me. I sketch a lot of my drawings. Hopefully I will get to the point where I can just 100% not even sketch out but just straight paint somebody's face and everything else. I'm not quite there yet. Only with certain, certain things, but when it comes to people and things, I'm just not there yet. So I definitely either sketch out and trace, transfer my sketching onto it and things like that just to help me um, get the portions as best as possible. And spraying this fixable spray onto my pencil work or whatever I use on my canvases or I will use on my wood, this helps to not mess up my outline from the paint um, the medium or whatever I'm using and I love it so it protects pencil pastel chalk drawings prevents smudging wrinkling allows easy rework acid free so I love this I saw someone use this on YouTube last year when I was just like trying to re-educate myself after being away from painting for almost 11 years and they swear by this as far as if you use a lot of outlining for like watercolors or just whatever you do and you have outlining and you're going over it with another medium and you don't want it to you know dissipate with the paint or the medium that you're using try this so if you don't know about this I'm putting you on and I actually bought three cans of these here because I use it a lot yeah it's it's <laughs> it's my saving grace I really really need it um, this wasn't on sale at Michaels but Amazon had it on sale two dollars off it was like six dollars and fifty cents so I should have bought a lot more but I bought three so yeah Okay, so that's all of my like paints, brushes, uh, my fixable spray. That's all of the stuff that I got for this haul. Now we're going to move into the big boys and that's the canvas. So I'm going to scoot back a little bit. I think I'm going to start with the biggest thing first for you guys and that is my piece of wood. So this is a, going to be a commission piece and this is... The wood is very thin, um, and the lady was just like, just get a piece of wood from Home Depot. Just a nice light wood. Here it is a 24 by 48 length. So, um, I wanted to work on wood. I said, eventually I'm going to do that. So when I had this wonderful client come to me and was like, I want a piece of wood, art piece. I like your art. Can you do it on there? I was so excited. And um, I hope she likes it because it's not like I have multiples of those, but I have to go back and buy it if it doesn't turn out the way she wants. So I'm excited with that. I do have a small piece to like experiment on first. And then hopefully this one will turn out right. So that's technically, I'm including that as a haul, even though it's a commission piece. All right, let's get into the canvases. So all of these are from Michaels. Again, I took advantage of the sale like I did with the paints. And um, by the time I went, a lot of them were gone. So I didn't get as much as I want, but nonetheless, <laughs> let me stop rambling and get into it. So again, I'm going to be reaching over here to get the paint canvases for you guys and we're going to start with the biggest one and this is the same size as my wood piece and it is a 24 by 48 as well I get the artist's first level right now only because I'm still learning with certain things 
Um, however, if I do get like a commission piece, I will get a hard, higher quality canvas, but these are all first grade. So I got me a big boy, which is again, the 24 by 48. The next size that I really, really love the most um, right now is the same size as this one here and it is the 22 by 28. And you'll see little tags here because these are my references here that I take so I know what I'm doing. Um, but I got one of these. I really should have got more because I absolutely adore this size. You can see my window <laughs> through it. Um, so I got, yes, one 22 by 28. Right now, that's just like my all-time favorite size as of now. All right, next size from that would be, I guess, the 20 by 24 here. Uh, this would be my next size. So... Um, I think this will be my first time using this size, so I'm going to see if I still like it. Um, coming back to painting, if you haven't seen my other video, I've never went this big. The largest size I ever did, I think, was like a 16 by 20. So when I came back to painting last year, I started off with that and went all the way up to 24 20 by 48. So... I'm playing around with the big boys to me. This is new scaling and all of that other stuff. So I wanted to try this new size. I haven't tried it yet. All right. The next one is another 20, but it is a 20 by 20 here. And I'm excited. I haven't used this one. This is like a pure square shape canvas here so I'm excited to play around that so I got one of those and then the next size is an 18 by 24 and I buy the packs of these I think it's like three in a pack at Michael's for ten dollars it was like three for ten dollars um, in a pack so I've been using a lot of these as well to experiment with and just Play around that so I got a whole pack I've already used the other two already I couldn't wait because I've had this haul since it is now Friday July the 3rd I believe so I've had this haul maybe for about three or four days and I've already ripped open the other two so yes and then these are all new sizes they're all the same I got three of them here and it is the 12 by 24 I bought a, two of these in my last haul back in February when they had the other 70% off sale and I should have did a video then but I didn't think. Um, you guys see the lighting changed. It's an overcast. Nonetheless, I liked it. I did like a two piece set that matched and um, I wanted to do another version of that and then I just got another one to match another one that I had. So yeah, kind of like in this um, size too. It's fun. And yeah, I grabbed those. So yeah, three of those. So that is my canvas haul. My hair is just like static, frizzy, seriously. Anyway, uh, that is my canvas haul. All from Michaels again. Took advantage of the 70% off sale. Didn't get everything I wanted, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video my first haul i hope i did okay i don't know is there a wrong way or a right way to do a haul i don't know but i hope you guys enjoyed that i will definitely try to have everything linked down below for you as well as the amazon stuff and i will put michael's up subscribe to them so you can get all the notifications about their sales up to 70 percent off you can't beat that that is a great thing no matter what level your artistry is Again, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell up top anytime so you'll know when I'm uploading a video. Again, I thank you guys so much for subscribing, for watching, for supporting me, just all your love and feedback. And I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Be blessed. Follow your dreams. Follow your passions. Bye.